Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly align objects in PowerPoint. But I'm going to show you the shortcut for it. Okay, because you'd expect there to be a shortcut like Control S is how you do, you know, how you save. Control A is how you select everything. Control B is how you make you know, text bold. But there's no obvious shortcut for how to do this. So I've got an object here and I want it aligned to the right as it is. I'm just going to move it over to the side just so, just so we can play around with it. Now to an align an object you know, to, to one side, simply click on the object, go to shape format, go to align, get a little drop down there. You can align left, center, right, top, middle. Click on align right. Okay, that's how you do it. But we want a shortcut for it. We want something a bit more than just that. The reason we want a shortcut is because if you can see my PowerPoint, I've got all these objects here that I want to align to the right and it's going to take me a long time to do it. This is often the case if I'm creating a PowerPoint with lots of uh, screenshots in it. I'll just copy and paste the screenshots all the way down and I might have 50, 60 slides to align to the right. Anyway, let me show you how to do it, how to create that shortcut. By the way, you probably watched this video because you've tried to do it and you failed miserably, as I did. It's very annoying. So the way to do it, click on the object, go to Shape Format. We have Alignment, click on Alignment. Choose the one that you want. So I'm going to do align right, but you can do align left, center, any that you want. So actually don't click on it. Hover over it. Do not click on it. Hover over it. Right click and click on add to quick access toolbar. Now, before I do that, you'll notice at the top, look what's here. There's nothing up here. Well, there's these objects up here. But if I click on add to quick access toolbar, it's now been added up there. And we have align objects right. Now you might be still saying, well, that's not really going to help me because it's not really a shortcut, but it is. And I'll show you why. Right. I've clicked away from the object. If I click on the object again on my keyboard, if I press alt, I just need to tap it once. It brings up all these numbers and letters. If I press the number five on my keyboard, it's moved it over. Same again on this one. Click on it once, press alt. You always have to press alt first to bring up these, these numbers. And on mine, it's number five because it's the fifth one along here. Yours, it might be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Might be, you know, four. Press the appropriate number is what I say. Five. Click on this one. Five. Oh, done it wrong, you see. Didn't press the Alt button. Click on it. Alt on the keyboard. Five. There we go. So it is quicker than having to go into the menu and go into shape format and go into alignment and then align to the right. I've got a line in right. You can also do a line left, any of these other ones. So I'll show you. So a line left, if I right click on a line left, click on add to quick access toolbar, you'll see a line left is there. Same principle, click on the object once, press Alt on the keyboard and you see it's number six. There you go. Do it again, Alt number five. You get the idea. Just to let you know, so I'm just going to do it one more time. This is just a little kind of tip for you. Same thing. I've clicked on the object, shape format, alignment. If I were to right click on align right and you have add to quick access toolbar and it's grayed out. The reason it's grayed out is because it's already up here. Okay. That's the only reason it's grayed out. You can, if you right click on the, uh, the actual button for alignment, you can add that to the toolbar, but it's not very useful. Let me show you. I've added to the toolbar. Is that the toolbar here? If I press, if I click on the object, so I press Alt, it's number seven. And all it does is then bring down a line left, a line center, a line right, and then I have to press another key on my keyboard. So, I mean, it's okay, but it's not as good as the method I showed you. Also to remove these from this quick access, right click on it, remove from quick access toolbar. Right click, remove from quick access toolbar. You get the idea. Hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more top tech tips.